Howdy folks, welcome back, it's me Impulse, and I'm going to bring you a video of my thoughts of E3 so far. I've watched two conferences so far, I've watched EA's, and I've also watched Bethesda's. Let's start off with EA at the moment. EA wasn't a fantastic conference for my uh, thing. It wasn't bad, don't get me wrong, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't brilliant and it wasn't crap. It was just okay. Uh, there was a few things I was quite lo uh, really looking forward to. The fact that they got FIFA again with a campaign, that's quite interesting. I don't like FIFA at all. I'm not a FIFA lover. I love football. Don't get me wrong, I love football. I love the fact that Wales um, uh, are so far on top of my group in the European Championships. <laughs> Wales, um, you know, ahead of England. And they drew. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. I might, get, I might lose some supporters now. I might lose some uh, <laughs> subs. Or I might gain some. You never know. But I quite like the fact they've got a, a campaign. It's virtually a campaign. It's brilliant. I quite like that idea. However, I just don't know. I've never been a fan of FIFA. It's a game which I've never, ever liked. Titanfall 2. I loved the look of Titanfall 2. It looked exactly the same as the first one. I quite agree with my friend Blues and Twos. But it was really good. Uh, it put in the campaign, which I've always been asking for. Fantastic. I like the fact the campaign is slightly different, if you know what I mean. Yes, you've got a pilot and uh, the Titan. However, this Titan who's joined with the pilot, this is not the original pilot. He, normally a Titan would bond with his pilot. He's chosen him uh, because he had to choose him because he was the only one around, so the Titan bonded with him. Which is quite interesting. I never realised they could do that. So it's something, it's something to know about the Titans, which is absolutely fantastic. They bond with their pilots, which is a good thing. So great. That's absolutely brilliant. That's something I was really looking forward to. To find out what it's all about, and now we're going to know it. It's going to be fantastic. The fact that PS4 are now going to be able to play this, which is a fantastic idea. They should have done it in the first one. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I need to relax. But I will be getting that on the PC. That's one of the games I'm definitely going to get. Uh, other games, I'm not so forward, but Battlefield 1, yes, I definitely have to get Battlefield 1 because I loved the look of it. I loved the fact that they showed those three games after the conference with celebrities and. Uh, Pro gamers and YouTubers and creators and conference are all playing in a 64 man, uh, 32 v 32 game mode on Conquest on the maps. And to be honest, it was absolutely fantastic. I loved it. It was brilliant. I enjoyed it. I could only watch two games plays because I had been working nights before, so I was absolutely shattered. So I landed up going to bed because <laughs> I was tired. However, Snoop Dogg's team already won. And they won two, and they. But I, gr I just don't like. I do like it. I do like the fact that he got a big, huge Zeppelin coming in. But the fact only the losing team has it. So, it's, I know it's supposed to make it a little bit fair so you don't, uh, you know, give you a chance to win the game. But at the end of the day, as my friend Blues and Two said, if your team is winning, they deserve the win. You does not deserve to have it taken away by a big, huge Zeppelin. <laughs> yeah. However... While watching the two games, it didn't quite work out for the other team because they didn't win, did they? <laughs> they lost. So it may not do as much as people are fearing. However, it does change the map. When it lands and crashes, it will destroy buildings and um, vehicle. It, if it lands on a vehicle, it will destroy that vehicle as well. It will destroy infantry. It re It's absolutely brilliant. I like that part. It's fantastic. It didn't show you any airplane ga uh, gameplay, did it? It only showed you watching once or twice. I would like to see what it's like. Because as we know, you can either be a single pilot or you can be a double pilot of a gun on the back to protect you. You can have that. The tanks, I like the look of the tanks because uh, those some of those tanks are in uh, World of Tanks, uh, especially where the one of the French-looking one, the scout tank, as they call it, with one single player. Because so you've got the scout tank, which is a single player. You have the medium heavy tank, which is two players. And you have that really heavy tank, which is virtually a whole squad. And, <laughs> uh oh, dead, damn it, people. But I quite liked it. I liked the look of it. I, and I'm really looking forward to get my hands on Battlefield 1. However, there has been confirmed by sources that there's going to be microtransactions. That's something I am not looking forward to because sometimes in some games, if you buy microtransactions, it gives you an unfair advantage over your team. Hopefully, these microtransactions are not going to be like, uh, extra equipment, better stock and all that for you. Hopefully more like uh, camouflages uh, and all that. I don't mind, but if it's to help you improve your game, no, I just, I am not looking forward to that. But 
Now let's get on to Bethesda's uh, conference. Bethesda's conference was a lot better than EA's. Let's start off with Quake. <laughs> yeah, they were bringing Quake back, which was brilliant. Never played it. But apparently, it's very, very popular. So that was a really good thing to start off with. And it's going to be really, people will be able to play this game in Quakecom, which is fantastic. Then they also went on to Doom, saying about Doom, which is brilliant. They're saying all the support they were going to be doing for Fallout 4, all the Fallout games, the new Fallout thing. Then they went on to Fable, Fable Legends, uh, not Legends, far Fable. Oh, God. Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls Online, where they were going to concentrate on a lot on the Elder Scrolls, concentrate on the new game mode, Legends, which is a card game, which is fantastic. These are all good things. They're also bringing the... Then... Going back to Fallout 4, they're bringing out uh, a new, you know, the Fallout 4 Shelter. It's coming to the mobile phones. <laughs> yes, it is. The iPhones. Oh, sorry. I hiccup, man. And also the Android phones. I got an Android phone, so I could be able to get that. And it's also free to play, which is fantastic. Uh, then they went on to just about to mention Dishonored, weren't they? And they said, oh, but well, before we do that, let's show you uh, what I had to do. And he, I was called to do something else. And he brought something else on and looked at the trailer this bloke kept waking up, walk, doing for his hand. He woke up again and woke up again, woke up again. I thought, what's going on here? Then he woke up and said, oh, it's time for some experiments. I'm like, oh, this is different. And then next day he wakes up, he's in space. He's on a st space station in space. And it turns out uh, this space station is where humanity was there set up just to try to improve themselves, you know, to get better understand themselves to better humankind. However, it's gotten invaded by aliens, and he's the only one left, and he has also some mind power. So this is going to be quite interesting. I'm quite liking the look at it. It looked absolutely fantastic, and I really, really am looking forward to it. However, I'm hoping it's not me one of these games where I really look forward to it, and it turns out to be a dud. <laughs> Which has been quite a lot, quite a lot lately. <laughs> yeah, but I quite liked it. Uh, then they got on to talking about some other things and then Dishonored 2 oh my god Dishonored 2 then he takes you through what it looked like <clears throat> don't get me wrong it did it look like something like a, a um, you would get when you're doing a benchmarking it looked like that it? you were just going through the maps through different places looking at people it's like a benchmark kind of thing wasn't it and he said oh that's your in-game uh, look at your in-game and I thought no it's not I haven't seen anybody playing it. I haven't seen anybody do anything. <laughs> so how can I be in game? You're just showing us the you're just showing us the world. You're not showing us any gameplay. And then they showed us some gameplay. And it was absolutely fantastic. I loved it. And I've never played the first one. And I wished I had because it was absolutely fantastic. However, if you do pre-order this uh the Dishonored 2. Any copy, it doesn't have to be the special edition which has that hair, nice mask and also the ring. It could be any copy for limited time only. You'll get the Dishonored. The remastered one with all uh, with all of the uh, DLC out in the game. And I thought, oh, that's quite interesting. However, it's coming out on uh, November the 11th, isn't it? <laughs> it's also the same time as Call of Duty's coming out. Yeah, you know I'm not, yeah, you know I've gone against Call of Duty, I hate Call of Duty, yes, I've got, since Call of Duty Ghost, it's really destroyed with me, however, it's not that, for me, I want to get my hands on Modern Warfare, COD 4, and for me to get hands on COD 4 at the moment, the remastered version, I have to buy the, this new game, because it's coming preset, you buy this game, you get this free of charge. And the reason why they're remastering Call of Duty 4 is because it's, so, it's still so popular now. They're trying to clean up the servers and get rid of all the hackers. So it makes it uh, a more skillful place game once again and more fun to play. Which I think is a fantastic idea. But I wish they could sell that game on its own. Not paired with another game. <laughs> but overall, I enjoyed the whole conference. So what do you think of it? Did you enjoy Fear, and uh, uh, well, Prey, I should say. Did you enjoy Prey, and did you enjoy the Dishonored trailer? Because that's the two I enjoyed the most. What else did you like? Did you like the fact that they're still supporting all the other games and also giving you a lot more mods to help mod them, which I think is brilliant as well. So let me know in the comments what you thought of the EA and also 
Bethesda's uh, conference. And hopefully I'll get another video up very, very soon. But until next time, it's me, Impulse. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please, please let me know in the comments what you thought of EA because it'd be most appreciated to see what if you thought anything like I did. But until then, catch you later, guys. Bye.